Don't put yourself in danger. Join me for a vape and I'll show you how to rewrap your batteries. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this edition of the Vapor Chronicles. Today's a little DIY or do it yourself. Uh, it's gonna be how to wrap or rewrap 18650 batteries. Now you might be saying, Brian, why do I need to rewrap my batteries? Well, if you use 18650 batteries and you're taking them out of your device and you're putting them in a charger, you're taking them out of putting them back in your device, you might notice that the top or the bottom or the sides start to get nicked, peeling, exposing the metal underneath. That's dangerous, okay? You don't wanna have your battery short, you don't wanna have your battery vent, so you need to protect yourself. Now I have found a cost-effective, very inexpensive way to be able to repair these batteries. Now remember, if your battery is actually dying or not charging or not holding a charge, it might be the battery itself, which this is not gonna do anything about. This is for those batteries that have damaged shrink wrap around the outside and how to rewrap them, all right? So you always wanna practice safe vaping, use high quality, high drain 18650 batteries. I personally have really been enjoying the LG HG2s. Uh, these are awesome batteries, and uh, I'll put a link below where you can pick them up really cheap. And when I say really cheap, I mean like $11 and change for two. So I think that's a really good deal. Um, but for those that have batteries that want to rewrap them, why don't we do this? Why don't we dive in, take an up-close look at how to do it, and then we'll be all set for this video. All right, thanks. Let's dive in. All right, here we have the batteries that are lined up. Some of them are damaged. Let me just show you what I'm looking at in terms of damage here. So this one, you can see the wrapper is peeling. And this can happen for a variety of reasons. Uh, over time, inserting these in tube mods, um, in regulated devices with you know, sharp edges and corners, putting them in your battery charger day after day, they get nicked. And uh, sometimes you'll see like a little nick on the side or uh, sometimes like in this one, you can see it's peeling at the bottom here. You'll also notice maybe, you know, some slices in the sides. This is the Samsung 25R. These are LG HG2s. Um, these are Sony VTC5s, I believe. Now, I've already taken the covers off of these ones. Uh, make sure that you don't lose this little insulator right here. You want to keep that on top. All of the batteries have them, and these ones, it's white. You can see there. Or if your you know, battery just has like old glue, or it's maybe showing some sweat marks, it's getting old, little nicks like that, you can see. So there's many reasons for wanting to change your battery uh, sleeves. Also, you know, customizing when you match batteries, instead of always, uh, you know, writing on them, you could have custom colors for different devices or for different power capacity batteries, how many milliamp hour batteries the battery is, or lots of different reasons to do this. So what I did was I ordered a couple packs of 50 of these sleeves. Now these are pre-cut translucent blue, and they're basically just, if you can separate them, these are just pre-cut sleeves. Okay. Now you want to make sure that you cover the entire uh, battery from top to bottom. And the reason for this is, you know, some mechanical uh, devices, tube mods, you don't want any of this bare metal touching. Now you could also use nail polish uh, on your, on your um, old sleeve to sort of cover up any exposed areas until you can get something like this in. But you definitely want to be careful. Check all your batter batteries regularly for safety reasons. You don't want this to short and then to vent, um, that would not be good. So this is why I'm making this. Now, I wanna give a quick shout out to Daniel at DJ LSB Vapes. Uh, he had, as I was researching for doing this video, cause I've never done it on my channel, I noticed he had already done one last January or February, 2015. And I watched his video and I noticed that there was a really cool little section where he cut the wrapper of the old 18650 and put it underneath uh, the new wrap so that he could see what type or brand battery. Now you can do that, and I think that's brilliant, I love it, but you can also uh, just use a black magic marker and write on the battery what it is. All right, it's your choice. 
uh, to, to make that decision. I also ordered some non-translucent blue. I just wanted to get a couple samples and see. So it's really your choice. So what you wanna do, you wanna grab a blow dryer. You also could use a heat gun, which I'm gonna use, uh, or you could use a blow torch if you're careful, all right? I personally like a heat gun that I can control the temperature, but it's really up to you what, what your preferences are. Just be safe and you should be fine, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is take this wrap off. Now on this one, it's gonna be easy because it's already starting to peel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue ripping this cover off, all right? So there we go. We have it off. You wanna make sure you don't lose this once again. So we're gonna leave that right on top. And what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna cut a sliver of the old brown sleeve just so I remember that it is an LG HG2. Okay, so now that I have the cover off, the sleeve is off, we're ready to work. So we're gonna take our battery. We're gonna put this on here. We're gonna take our sleeve and I'm gonna start the battery in. But before we do that, we're gonna take this and we're gonna slide it inside the battery and then push the sleeve on, okay? We're gonna leave that going all the way up to the top. Push it down. And you want the distance on the top and bottom to be about the same, okay? And you also wanna make sure that this doesn't move and everything is nice and secure. And if you need to poke or push, you can easily make any adjustments. And if you wanted to use a little glue to keep that little brown sliver that I cut, you could do that, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna use glue. And depending on how much time you wanna spend, you can straighten everything out. Or like I said, you can use some glue. But there's your, your battery in there. It's ready to be heated up. So then, I'm gonna grab your heat gun. Now I'm gonna put this on low. And what I'm gonna do is, the air coming out of the heat gun, this is my porter cable, um, it's gonna try to knock this little insulator and fly it out. You wanna be careful with that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go from the bottom, vertically like this, and make sure that the, the wind or the air coming out is not gonna knock that. So let's turn this on low, and then we're just gonna up and down, very quickly. over, up and down. You can also use protective gloves if it's too hot for you. Don't, you don't want to burn yourself. And that's it. Here's your freshly wrapped battery. Everything is sealed. Nice and smooth. And you can see the little marker that I put in there so I know it's a brown. And you can make that small. You can do anything you want really. It's up to you. All right. So let's do one more. And let's use this. This is my Samsung VTC5. So I'm going to slide that in just like so. Line it up.
And there you go. Super easy, inexpensive, and it's a way to keep you safe. Uh, these shrink wrap sleeves cost me a dollar thirty-six for fifty of them. Nice and thick. They seem durable. Um, you know, like I said, translucent or non-translucent, depending on what you like and how you want to label them. But a really smart, effective way of protecting yourself from any kind of battery problems. And uh, you can really get some more use out of your batteries once they're damaged by doing this. All right, so there you go. All the batteries have been rewrapped. I've got my blue and my translucent blue. Um, really nice quality wraps at a cheap price. I must warn you though that fast tech is not fast at all. Sometimes it takes about two weeks to come to me in the United States. Sometimes it takes four or even more. These took about four weeks to deliver. So place your order, forget about it, and then you'll get a nice surprise when you least expect it in the mail. Don't track it, don't follow it. It's just aggravating and you don't need to do that. But for the price, you know, it's really cheap. Um, so I have my new battery wrap in here. This is my Joytech EVEC VTC Mini uh, in cyan, which is really cool with the black. Loving it. So there's not much more to it. Keep yourself safe by keeping your batteries safe using quality batteries. Uh, I usually pack, purchase a whole bunch of brand new batteries all at once and I keep them paired together if I'm using them in dual 18650 devices. Um, make sure they're charged on a nice charger. The charger that I use is the Luck V4. It works well for my needs. Uh, lots of different options out there, lots of different batteries. But like I said, if you're interested in picking up the wraps, picking up the batteries, uh, the LG Browns, Click the links below. So that's it. I'm going to finish this coffee, have a vape, and enjoy my evening. Thanks for watching. I will see you real soon right here on the Vapor Chronicles. Have a good one.